Hi guys, welcome to the Artist Server. So about three weeks ago, I made a video showing you guys how to reformat the sector size on these Samsung SM1625 SSDs. And if you recall, these SSDs came out of an EMC storage array, so they had non-standard sector sizes and some custom um, firmware on them. And at the end of that video, I said this. These drives that require the sector size reformatting oftentimes behave differently when it comes to the activity LEDs. You'll notice that the activity LED here is solid green. They do flicker with activity, so they do work, but normally the activity LED is off and then turns on green and flickers with activity. So there is that one difference. So after releasing that video, an awesome viewer going by, Jeff Seeley, actually told me that you can change the activity LED behavior. And so in today's video, I want to share that tip with you guys and show you how you can flip the activity light behavior on these SAS SSDs. So to begin with, uh, let me show you that we have these SSDs in place. And so you can see that they are um, designated uh, SDA through SDH. And just to kind of show you that the activity LEDs do work, let me make those LEDs flicker. So basically I'll just run a uh, smart CTL on them and just get them to flicker up a little bit so that we can see how they actually function. So I've got the command set up here. I'm basically going to iterate through uh, A through H and I'm running a smart CTL A to just kind of access the drive and I'm dumping that to dev null. But uh, the point is just to put some activity on these drives so you can see the flickering of the activity LEDs. So I'm not going to press uh, enter until I get the LEDs in frame here. So you can see they're all still solid green right now and I'm gonna go ahead and press enter now. So you can see them kind of flickering in turn here a little bit. So for sure, those activity LEDs do work, but when they're idle, it's just solid green. And so the way to change that behavior is through this command called sdparm. And if you're a Linux user uh, from a desktop environment, you're probably familiar with another, pro uh, oops, with another program called uh, hdparm that can access um, parameters on a on a SATA drive. This is basically the analog to that for a SAS drive. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick the first drive, which is de dev SDA. And the way to do this is you do set equals RLM. And so RLM stands for ready light meaning. And this is basically just a toggle switch that you can uh, turn on and it'll basically reverse the, the uh, the behavior of that uh, activity LED. So I'm just gonna give it de dev SDA to um, toggle that behavior on the first uh, SSD. So that's the command. I'm not gonna press enter until I get the um, SSD here in, fr in frame here. So I believe SDA is going to be this drive. And so I'm gonna go ahead and now and press enter. And so you can see that the LED just went off. And if I go back and activate that previous command where I run smart CTL, you'll still see the activity LED flicker. So here I am about to press enter now. So you can see the activity LED now behaves differently. It's off when there's no activity and it flickers when there is activity and which is just the reverse of these other ones that I haven't touched yet. Now, one thing is that when you run this command, the this is only a temporary setting at this point. And so for example here, let me just kind of show you. So this is that drive that I've changed. You can see the activity LED is off now because there's no activity. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. Okay, and then I'm gonna plug it back in. Okay, so I've got the amber warning that a drive went offline. That's okay, it's gonna go back. Okay, now it's blue again and you can see it's um, activating, booting up sort of, and it's going to go solid green when it's ready. Okay, so yeah, now it's ready. It's solid green again. So that setting that we just uh, set with the RLM is temporary. Now you can make that permanent. So this is how you would do that. So I'm gonna rerun that command, but you're with an additional option, dash dash save, 
which will basically save this setting onto the the drive and then uh, it will be permanently that way until you clear it again so again putting the drive in frame and when I press enter and so now you can see that it's gone offline and yeah the, so the command completed but the the activity LED now is off and if I run that smart that loop with the smart CTL again you'll see that it flickers with activity okay so now because I did the dash dash save that setting should be permanently on this drive right now so I'm gonna go ahead and power the drive off let's pull it off and I'm just gonna wait for this thing to go amber okay so it's drive is offline doesn't like it let's put this drive back in okay so that's gonna blink as the drive is getting ready to get on uh, to come online basically and when it stops blinking okay so now you can see that the activity LED when it's when in the drive is ready um, the activity LED is now dark uh, whereas it's no longer um, basically solid green like the other drives uh, because it's actually saved that RLM setting that I put in there now let's say you don't like the, you you made that change and at some point you decide like you don't like that behavior and you want to clear it so the way to do that is to do um, dash dash clear on the LM so instead of set you do dash dash clear uh, equals RLM and then uh, dash dash save if you actually want to save it to the drive I won't save it because I actually want the drives to um, have the activity LED off uh, when there's no activity so but if you do this it will temporarily uh, remove that behavior so that's the command and here I'm gonna press enter now and so now you can see that the activity LED is again solid green when there's no activity all right but because that setting was not saved if I pull this drive out and now put it back in and give it a second here to come online again and this should go to dark when it's ready okay so yeah now the drive is ready and the activity LED is dark again and so that's how you go about changing the activity LED behavior on SAS drives. Now keep in mind this only works on SAS drives. This SD Parm command will not work on SATA drives. So uh, unfortunately there's no, uh, I, I don't know the equivalent of, of doing this type of change on SATA drives right now. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make that change across the board for all of these drives. So I'm just gonna run it through this loop, SD Parm, set RLM, save on all of them. All right, so there you go. All the activity LEDs are now off when there is no activity. And let me rerun the smart command. And if I generate activity, you will see that they start flickering. All right, so anyway, that's all I want to share with you guys today. Thank you very much, Jeff, for sharing this tip. Uh, it was something I didn't know anything about. And so I uh, really enjoy learning something new. So thank you so much for sharing that. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, be sure to give me that thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and you like this sort of thing, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to support my channel, go check out my eBay store. I'll leave a link down in the video description. I've got all sorts of server goodies for you over there. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.